Welcome to Egypt's future. This desert might not seem much at the moment, but within five years it could be a leading space center. Research and experiments are already underway. Lenses and circuits built here are being tested for durability in this space environment simulator. And in few years, the government aims to make satellites. We're confident that we now have the capabilities to manufacture satellites. This has driven us to start our test satellites program. There are a group of satellites which will launch at the start of 2017 and end in 2022. Five small satellites will be launched during that period. All should be 100% made in Egypt. But before official manufacturing, China will teach Egypt assembly. Misrasat 2 is going to be the first satellite assembled in the country's space station that China is going to build. Both countries will design it as part of the $72 million project offered to Egypt. Supporting such a program will help Egypt in having a true sustainable development. From that, the cooperation was evident between our two countries and a promise of a continued Chinese support to Egypt's space program. Egypt has been pursuing a space program since 1998 and has continued investing despite government budget strains. The new plan should provide a vital boost. This stage came in very late and it has burdened our plans. There will be no development or efficient use of our resources without satellite imaging. That's why we look forward to optical satellites. And acquiring satellites with all their application is what we aim to achieve. Last December, African countries agreed to create an African space agency. Egypt proposed a plan and offered to host its headquarters. Egypt is about to take a great leap in space sciences and their application, a crucial step for the country's development. And this National Association for Remote Sensing and Space Sciences is going to be the hub for that space program that will serve not just the country, but the Middle East and Africa. Adel Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.